Breaking news. Beloved Pentecostal preacher T. L. Lowry passes away at 87. T. L. Lowry, who spent more than 70 years in Pentecostal ministry, passed away Sunday at the age of 87. Lowry accepted Christ on New Year's Day at 13 in 1943. By 1954, however, he had passed toward four congregations, married his sweetheart, Mildred, and saw the birth of his son, Stephen. While in Galax, Virginia, Lowry made the decision to move into full-time evangelism. For the next 15 years, he traveled throughout the country and the world, conducting crusades in over 115 countries and every state in the U.S. According to the T. L. Lowry Global Foundation website, Glory.org, the name T. L. Lowry became synonymous with spiritual power, fire from heaven sermons and miraculous healings. Summers included week after week of ministry at Church of God camp meetings. Testimonies from thousands whose lives have been forever changed physically and spiritually continue to characterize the anointed ministry of T. L. Lowry. In 1958, Lowry moved his family to Cleveland, Tennessee, and used the city as a home base for his worldwide evangelism. According to Glory.org, from 1969 to 1974, Lowry passed toward the North Cleveland Church of God, one of the oldest continuing Pentecostal churches in the world. He accepted this call of God and built the present sanctuary and the North Cleveland Towers, a senior citizen's apartment complex. In 1981, God quickened his spirit and placed a burden on his heart for the nation's capital, a church in Washington, D.C. During his pastorate in Washington, 1981-1996, Lowry's leadership placed the National Church of God on a trajectory that would catapult its influence in and around the nation's capital guiding the congregation through numerous building programs, establishing community ministries, exponential growth the construction of a 4,000-seat sanctuary, and the construction of 410 apartments for the elderly and median-income families. Lowry also served 16 years on the Church of God International Executive Committee and 34 years on the International Executive Council. Over the years, he has devotedly served as a member of the boards of the National Association of Evangelicals NAE, National Religious Broadcasters NRB and the Pentecostal and Charismatic Churches of North America PCNA. He authored two dozen books, published inspirational magazines, and was a contributing writer for numerous publications. Lowry's life and ministry touched many men of God, including Perry Stone, founder of The Voice of Evangelism. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to us on YouTube, Facebook and Twitter. You can visit us on www.therealthingmean.webs.com.